deceived. The American people as a whole are being deceived. Nearly all of this world population is under a spell. The definition of deceit is the act of causing someone to accept as true or valid what is false or invalid. The act or practice of deceiving. The quality of being dishonest or misleading. The quality of being deceitful. We mostly think of things in ways that we can relate. So when someone says a two-way portal, uh, most people think of a door or a window where you, there's a barrier, it's opened, and you go through. Well, it's the same concept, but the barrier isn't fixed. It isn't one barrier. It is in a different dimension. Um, if you're familiar with uh, quantum uh, theory, uh, then you'll understand that even in this physical world, something can be in two different places at the same time. Now, if you really want to get into quantum theory, I would go check that out. So I thought I should uh, do a little update on this video and give some more information about what I was talking about. Uh, uh, scrying mirrors and such and what they're doing with these and uh, the effect they're having on people as it relates to uh, the coronavirus and how people are programmed reacting to the whole situation I took my mother to the doctor and sitting out front by himself, away from everyone, away from the door, was a gentleman sitting on the, the little ledge there by the window, and he had his mask on. He's by himself, outside, away from everyone, wearing his mask on his phone. Um, came out a few, came out of the office a few minutes later because I, I wanted to talk to him, I, and I was uh, very courteous, and at least I thought I was, and. I asked him why he was wearing the mask outside by himself away from everyone. And he thought about it for a second and said, I guess I'm just used to wearing it all the time. So people have been programmed through media to wear the mask all the time. Now, I've worn the mask. Uh, I wear a bandana when I take my mother to the doctor. Otherwise, they won't let me in. I'm not going to make a big fuss and uh, claim rights and things like that and uh, make threats, which could be carried out, and uh, lawsuits. But 
it's it's not that big of a deal. I'm taking my mom to the doctor. I can put aside my uh, beliefs and what I think is going on, what's really happening, for a moment, to you know do that. Um, I don't wear it when I go to the store. That's a whole nother video. I see people driving in their car. They're by themselves. Windows are rolled up and they have their mask on. Like I said, it, I believe it is not only what people are watching, the mainstream media, um, even YouTube videos, uh, that's mainstream, I guess, but uh, mainstream media, I mean, by that I mean, uh, you know, CNN, uh, the big television broadcasting channels broadcasting casting their spell broadly not only through what they're seeing on the screen what they can't see on the screen because there's 24 frames per second that are moving across the screen um, you only see you can't see all 24 individual frames in a second your mind interprets it as one moving picture um, same thing with movies when you go to see a movie. So say out of uh, 24 of those frames in one second, eight of them, just a random number I picked, are uh, flashes of people wearing a mask by themselves or um, some image that is being shown to your subconscious and absorbed very rapidly without you being aware of it. That's programming. They're uh, subconsciously programming. Also, through the television, through our phones, are they have the ability to open a doorway at one point, and I'll get into this in, in later on here, and allow an entity to, at a specific time, to move from the one point through and into your out of your phone and influence you so not only are you being influenced subconsciously you are uh, they used to be able to manipulate you electrically um, through uh, the uh, the the television waves that would come out being emitted from the electronics and the old style TVs now they change that um, and you can look up the patents on TVs, and, and they, they show you in the patent how, and I've done videos on it, that they send these um, electrical waves through the television and manipulate emotions. They um, cause pain, do all sorts of things. So they stop that style of uh, manipulation and coercion, and I moved to this one. This new and improved flat everything's flat black screen just like these scrying mirrors that they used in ancient times and still use today uh, practicing witchcraft invoking and evoking um, actually evoking spirit now the quantum theory is look up the uh, double split experiment was the first thing that they did and scientists did and they shot a single laser beam and threw a double slit cardboard and on the other side that one laser split into two and left its imprint on the other side the screen on the other side of the two splits um, so one split into two at the end, to one split and took two different paths at the end, ended up at the same place by taking two different paths. Now, if you really want to get into that, that's what I would look up first, double split experiment. And then recently they've um, used larger molecules and, uh, and duplicated the same thing. And the reason that's important, not only to what these scrying mirrors are allowing them to do be in more than um, starting at one point splitting off into several different points ending up at those different points at the same time um, i.e. an example our phone um, 
televisions, etc. Not only are is it important for this video and that subject, but it I believe is also how our Heavenly Father can be everywhere everywhere at the same time. Here is the scrying mirror on the entity side. Here's the entity. He's on this side. And now there's five million exit points that were created by so-and-so company and the ritual was performed here with the entity here at this side of the portal at this specific portal and he was instructed to at a certain time move through that portal and out 10,000 or however many portals later on at, at a specific time to perform a specific task, say of taunting, mesmerizing, dece deceiving, whatever they tell it to and whatever it is capable of doing. So I hope that enlightens some people on how these phones, televisions, tablet screens are being used to allow entities that have a specific task assigned to them to manipulate, harm, and I don't know. I thought I had three things, but there's only two that I go over. But fulfill a specific task that an, a witch, a high-ranking witch assigned to it. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Adonai and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Elohim, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we will wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Elohim, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of Elohim, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints.